I don't know. I'll have to find out. Wait, see, you know. I hope you will either learn to behave in game or stay for the rest of your Dota 2 days with this penalty. Brother Bear, just because you don't have much going on in your life doesn't mean you need to come here and bestow. I don't know. Just your pseudo wisdom, okay? You're not smart, you're not special. Alright, don't come in here and act like you're some saint. Uh, thank you. My behavior score is 6.2 currently. Good night, Charles. Do you usually go flame grid level 10 taunt? Yeah, always. The other one's kind of useless. Except in like really specific games, but people don't really draft like that anymore. Anyway, for everyone talking about... Um, for everyone talking about, oh, I'm 10.5, I'm, I'm everything's been going fine. I haven't been getting reported. It's a very specific problem for a very specific group of people. Um, because there is a smaller player pool at ultra high MMR, there is a much higher ability for you to abuse or target report people because you play with more of the same people over and over and over again. So if you have past beefs with people, then there is more likely it's more likely that random people will report you even if you've done nothing wrong and the reports are not counted as like if they were actually you were actually con like Overwatch convicted for said thing. The reports are. If you are reported, your behavior score goes down, which is inherently bad for high MMR because there is a much higher likelihood of abuse. And the concept of behavior curbing punishments is that they curb the behavior. But if the behavior is stopped, then continuing to punish makes no sense. For instance, these past six games, I have not communicated in any way, shape, or form. I've tried my hardest till the very end. And if I continue to do that for 15 games and then I lose behavior score, then the system is broken because that means I am being biased against because I am me or because I've behaved a certain way in the past, which is not what behavior scores are designed or like punishments are designed to do. They're not designed to spite you. They're designed to curb behavior. And if I'm losing behavior score, even whenever I'm behaving perfectly, that means the system is broken. Which is why we're running a test here. I'm behaving. I'm an ideal citizen right now. Trying my hardest every game and not saying a word. I'm not being toxic and I'm trying my absolute hardest. I'm being a model citizen right now. I'm being a Redditor, some might say. I'm being immaculate, perfect, spotless. Okay, just like Redditors. My horse is so high in the air, you couldn't see it with an ever-loving microscope. And a binocular and a telescope all stacked on top of each other. You couldn't see it. My horse is way too high. So in your eyes, no communication equals best behavior? No. I think best behavior is like being an unpaid psychologist for everyone on your team, and every time they say something, like, oh, it's okay, it's it's fine for this reason and that reason, and the way reason you feel this way is this, and you can make these changes to your life going forward that will rectify some of these issues you've been having with your relationships. Like, that's the ideal, right, is I can be their unpaid psychologist. But barring I'm not their unpaid psychologist, I don't think not speaking is being toxic. I think not speaking is just not speaking. It's neutral. Now there's the unpaid psychologist, there's the Redditor, there's the immaculate, perfect, you know, child of God specimen. And then there is me, Satan incarnate on the other end. But right now I'm being a middle ground. I'm being a normal, neutral citizen. And I don't think normal, neutral citizens should be convicted for walking down the street and buying a baguette. All I'm saying. And this is what we're this is what we're testing, what we're experimenting. This is an experiment here. Doesn't this dumb shtick make, make it more likely people to report you? If that's the case, then that just proves my point. That the system is broken. Anyway, pretty soon at the current rate, I won't be able to play ranked anyway, so I'll just have to start buying accounts and like smurfing on super secret smurfs and like swap the position of my items so they can't tell it's me or whatever and don't ban my main. Because realistically, if they don't fix the system, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to start playing on Smurf. Like, I'm going to have to start buying accounts and playing on really secret Smurfs. Like, if you can use VPNs to, like, change my IP and stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to start doing crap like that. Their heroes are very broken. Don't you think Valve will adjust the behavior score system before it comes to that? I don't know if they will. Valve has a history of ignoring problems and just letting them fester for really long periods of time. 
So I'm doing this in an attempt to prove that, prove that the system is broken and that their festering wound with maggots in it needs to be cleaned. Because that's what the current behavior screw system is. It's a maggot-infested festering wound. Pus and every other liquid you could imagine oozing out of it. All right. Game number seven of the No Communication Challenge is now underway. Let's see what happens. Let's see if positivity, or I suppose neutrality, reigns supreme. I am the human equivalent of Switzerland. Should change my profile picture to the Swiss flag. Oh my gosh, dude. Pangler's so tricky and dumb hero. It's actually so ridiculously broken. What? Okay, I learned something new. I don't know if it's supposed to work like that, but it does. I need to test that. If you misclick, then it didn't even matter. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Having fun with that wave?
board mid. So freaking annoying. They have a sentry here, that's the question. They do, it's right on top of me. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Am I dead? Depends if they target switch.
All right, boys. This is game number is it six or seven of the no communication challenge. Let's see. I started here, so this is game number. This is game number seven of the no communication challenge. Okay. Game number seven. Onward and upward. Mr. Quinn, where is the challenge? Oh, what's the challenge slash point of the challenge? Um, no, I can type. I can't use voice chat. I'm restricting myself. Um, because I believe the system is flawed and allows for abuse on specific players, or if you just don't like someone, you can report them even if they're not behaving poorly in that specific game, and the report is taken at face value as if it's true and not judged on a game-to-game -game basis. Just if reported, behavior score goes down, and I'm proving that by not communicating and trying my hardest till the end every game. And if my behavior score goes down, then the system is broken, like I believe it to be. Song request, please, from our tour. It's gonna get my VOD muted, dude. It's K-pop, dude. It's gonna mute my VOD. Not speaking slash typing is communication as well. How is the absence of speaking s communication? I mean, by inference, I suppose. Like, but that's not in a Dota context. <laughs> 